I wanted to make a change to the header of one of my web pages and it was an image of a film spool so I wanted to see if I can add an image into it so what I did was after I located the uh, the file I opened it up into Photoshop and I'm using Photoshop 7 I like this version so much better than the CS version because the CS versions are a bit of a memory hog and this version is just super quick to work with so this is the film spool that I'm gonna add the image into and notice that there are several different frames here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put an image I'm gonna put one image that's gonna show through all of these windows or frames here it's almost as though you're looking out of a, a window. I didn't want to put different images into here. I just wanted to try something different. So what we have to do is make the selection where we're going to paste our image into. So let's enlarge our header image. And now we're going to make our selection. We're going to, of course, use the marquee tool. Shortcut is M. We have the feather set now at 1 and before we actually make the selection let's use the guides because this is going to make it a little bit easier so we're going to bring a guide down we're going to actually use the move tool to bring the guides down so move tool shortcut is the letter V or the move tool is right here if you click on that so just go up to the ruler click your guides down to about there we're going back to the marquee tool and then now we can select the area that we want the image to paste into. Instead of just going and making the selections, we have to hold down the shift key first. And by doing that, the last selection that we made is going to remain. Otherwise, if we don't hold down the shift key, the last selection is going to disappear. Even though the last one is about a half a frame, I'm still going to use it. Okay, there's our selection. But I think what I want to do is I'm going to make the selection a little bit larger. And this is actually good to know. So we have the selections all made. But let's go into Select. We're going to go into Modify. And we're going to Expand. So what this does is expand your selection. We're going to just expand it by one pixel and see what happens. So let's just click. It's already set for one pixel. Click OK. You can see that the selection just grew, just expanded by one pixel. And I think it's pretty good where it's at now. So what I'm going to do is paste my image into here. Let's bring up the image. And this is actually a portrait that I took of my wife at the beach many years ago or several years ago and uh, we have to copy this so control A first of all is going to select all and then we're going to copy by control C let's reduce this okay now we're set so we're going to use a shortcut control shift letter V or it's also here edit paste into so we already have the image now paste it into our header now this is really nice you want to make sure that the that the two images that you're working with are reasonably similar in size as far as the megapixel go if one is too large you're gonna have a problem with uh, one just maybe running way off the page but this one is a little bit large but it's not a problem because I can reduce it we're gonna transform it so let's hit control T It's going to bring up the image it's going to bring up the transform section of the image now we're going to just reduce it actually and I'm going to reduce it as close as we can to the edge of the frames on the film spool okay that's about as close as we can get maybe without coming in too close I think let's try maybe a tiny bit more okay that's gonna do it and now we're gonna hit enter and that's it let's go back to our move tool 
Now the nice thing about when you use paste into is that you can just take your move tool and you can just move this around any way you want. And the way that I'm going to set this up is I'm going to make sure here in this particular image here it just happens to work out nice because it shows her over here and it still picks up the seagulls in a separate frame. We can also use our arrow keys to go up and down and that looks pretty good so that's it right there and then you might want to fine tune this what I wanted to do was since there's going to be text here and if I use a white text here it's it's not going to show up as easily so I'm going to darken this image and the easiest way to do this is just go to your opacity over here and just reduce it down to where you like it and I think I'm going to probably probably about there 42 percent or about there so you can just adjust this to your liking and then after that's all done we're gonna flatten the image and I have an action set that flattens the image but you can actually just go to here this little triangle and it's gonna ask you to flatten image so you just click on flatten image and it's gonna flatten all the layers together so there's the image and then now we can just save this. I'm just going to close this out and let's just do let's just work with another one just to show you some of the other things you can do with it. You can also like say you want to bring an image into a frame. Well here's a a photograph of a frame that we use and I'm going to use the same image here. I'm going to paste the image into here. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to use this tool over here it's called a magic wand tool the shortcut is W so if we click on that I think we have it set 88 should be okay we're gonna click on that and what that does then is select all the tones in the center it's gonna select all the white which is great and then we're gonna bring back let's use the same image we're going to copy this again I think we already have it copied but let's just control A control C let's copy Let's reduce this. We're going back to a frame and now we're going to paste into. So control, shift, and V. There it is. I'm going to just reduce this and let's bring up the transform tool. Control T. Hold down the shift key and we're going to adjust this to your liking. So you can crop this. Let's bring it in maybe as close to the edge as we can. Okay, now we can adjust it maybe. That looks pretty good there. So let's just hit enter and it's going to set our transform. And there you have it. So we're actually set now. We have a an image that we pasted into this frame. And the nice thing about, again, paste into is that you're able to move the image around. Where if you just do a paste, you're stuck actually with the way that you pasted it into it. You can move it around up to a certain extent, but but for something like this, paste into works best. So that's about it, and you can check out more learning tutorials on our website, which is myphotozoom.com. Thanks for watching.